channel this is Anna we're going to make a uh, chicken curry today and what we have right here if you see right here is our uh, chicken and I marinated them with um, lemon juice and herbs and spices so I mean you can marinate them or you know if you doesn't have the time that's fine you can just use a uh, you know just straight plain uh, chicken but I figured you know that will give more flavor if you marinate them with herbs and spices and so as uh, lemon juice and so this is our chicken right here and also we have the onion green pepper I have the potatoes garlic parsley and uh, so as our peas and carrots and I have the curry powder, red pepper, it's a crushed one, so you know, just to have a little bit of heat and a cumin, pepper, and of course, our coconut milk. So actually this is a very simple and delicious combination of flavors guys and you know if you use a chicken you know you can use also a uh, if you want the bone in that would be perfectly fine I figured you know if you use a um, chicken breast it would be easy to cook you know and uh, at the same time the flavor is still there so um, but anyway, so we're going to start in cooking now, okay guys? There you go guys, I have a uh, pan up here with a... Uh, also what I'm going to do is, I'm going to brown the potatoes first. So I will have crunch on the vegetables and at the same time, you know, it will give a uh, color for uh, potatoes, okay? So we're just going to fry them. And it will just take a couple of minutes just to give a little bit of crust for the potatoes just like that guys after a couple of minutes this is already brown so all we have to do is just take them out from the pan okay we'll just transfer them on the plate still gonna use the oil that we used to fry for our potatoes so we're just gonna put the onion like that I guess we can just finish the onion the more the better okay so we'll just mix it up and then we're gonna put our garlic Okay, after the garlic and so is the onion, I'm gonna put in the chicken to brown the chicken and we will saute them for um, three to four minutes. Oh, this smells so good. That's delicious. Oh, I'm so excited with this dish. Okay, just like so. All we have to do is just mix it up. 
beautiful. See how delicious the oh the color, the aroma. If you can just smell this, guys, it's just amazing. So all we have to do is just we'll just simmer them for uh, three to four minutes, okay? So I'm just gonna put the lid on. There you go guys after four minutes so we're going to put our peas and carrots now just like that this smells pretty good guys all we have to do is just mix it up okay. and of course our pepper Half of our parsley. Just like that. And I'm gonna put in the potatoes that I fried earlier. Okay. And we're going to put the red pepper now. That. Our cumin, okay. Then we will just mix it up again. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so what we have to do is just simmer them for a couple of minutes and after a couple of minutes is we will right back, okay? There you go guys, after a couple of minutes, this is what it looks like, oh beautiful. Oh, the sizzling right there. So that's what we're looking for, okay? so. I think this is ready for our coconut milk. Beautiful combination right there guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll put a can of our coconut milk just like that. Beautiful. Ooh. Yummy, so yummy. There you go. So all we have to do is just mix it up. Oh, beautiful. So this is a uh, combination of potatoes, carrots and peas, green pepper, beautiful. So all we have to do now is add our curry powder. So I usually put the curry powder at the end so it will give the color the texture and the aroma will oh if you can smell that will remain very aromatic so all we have to do is just like that so it's just like a tablespoon and you can put a little bit more if you wanted to oh beautiful and you know what guys we'll just max it out we'll put a little bit more just like that oh delicious flavor right here the aroma guys if you can just oh beautiful and if you notice the sauce is starting to turn yellow from the curry powder so we'll just mix it up beautiful beautiful so i will just simmer them for another minute just to you know caramelize the sauce and things like that and reduce a little bit and this should be good for plating there you go guys so this is our chicken curry that we fixed today and if you notice you know i garnished them with uh parsley and roasted sesame seeds 
Oh, this is just a beautiful combination of potatoes, peas and carrots. I have the pepper and of course the creamy coconut milk and oh, this is just a combination of flavors. And I hope guys that you like my video today and uh, thank you once again for watching my videos and always keep uh, updated and I still have a lot of videos coming up. And once again, thank you and please don't forget to subscribe and I am in YouTube town and I'm gonna see you on my next video guys. Thank you very much. Bye